Thank you, Mr. Sir. Thank you very much. I give the floor now to the Center of Excellence on National Security, S. Raja Ratnam School of International Studies, Nanyang Technological University of Singapore. You have the floor, please. Three minutes. Chair, we thank the Chair for the opportunity to speak to the third substantive session of the Open-Ended Working Group, and we further thank the Chair for your efforts to include non-government stakeholders like us in the formal processes of the OEWG, as well as continuing the conversation in informal sessions where you have been able to include inputs from stakeholders who were not accredited for the formal sessions. We thank you for your guiding questions and wish to respond to the first set of questions on capacity building. Our contribution is based on what we have learned while conducting capacity building efforts in ASEAN and beyond. Our Center of Excellence for National Security is an independent national security policy research think tank based in Singapore at the RSIS Graduate School. We've provided trainers for the UN Singapore Cyber Program, Capacity Building Program for ASEAN, as well as other partner initiatives for capacity building there, and including workshops for ASEAN delegates on, among other things, the meaning of the norms, the development of the norms implementation checklist, which we have expanded to other interested states. We also contributed content to the UN Cyber Diplomacy Online course, which I'm very heartened to hear from our colleague is being used and is available to all interested stakes, states and stakeholders. We share three observations from our experience. Number one, we observe that participants at our workshops have been very eager to engage the topic and to learn. While every state is at a different level of cyber maturity, over the years, many delegates who participated in the programs have taken back what they learned to their respective states and returned in following years with reports of progress on a personal and institutional level. So we encourage all stakeholders who support capacity building to continue doing so. There is an impact. Number two, one best practice that we observe is that participants benefit from a multi-stakeholder approach with academia providing frameworks, industry providing technical expertise, civil society providing perspectives, and state participants frankly sharing experiences and challenges. This delivers value and holistic capacity is much better than a siloed approach, because in a siloed approach, academic or policy frameworks alone may not be technically feasible, technical proposals alone may be blind to public and private interests. We therefore urge all stakeholders to work across domains when conducting capacity building. Combine academia, civil society, private sector, and public sector. Number three, we observe that participants share the chair's desire for sustained and substantive capacity building that's inclusive and builds confidence. So we look forward to proposals to develop neutral and inclusive capacity buildings that avoid politicization and improve access. In conclusion, we observe a wide range of capacity building aspects that stakeholder groups can contribute to, and we encourage states to continue working with stakeholders, stakeholders to continue working with states, and stakeholders to continue working with other stakeholders on capacity building, and this can carry on regardless of whether we are accredited to formal sessions or not. It is in the interest to find ways to cooperate even when it's inconvenient to do so, to deepen capacity building to ensure security and stability. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I also wanted to add that all statements from stakeholders submitted to the Secretariat will be put on the website of the Open-Ended Working Group so that all can have access to the statements. We'll continue with the speakers list. Can I check if Cyber Justice Watch Institute is present? <laughs>